Hello and welcome to another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. You join me in the hills above Los Angeles in the Angeles National Forest on some roads I had never driven before. You see the main Angeles Crest Highway is actually closed because of some crazy flooding. Flooding that's lead, led to a super bloom like this over here and even some crazier things. You can see wildfire damage in here. I mean, this is such rugged terrain, so close to Los Angeles, the metropolitan area. And um, we decided to come up here today. We had, uh, you know, perfect conditions, sunny, blue skies, perfect weather. And we have two really cool cars. And we're like, let's just go cruise in the canyons. You know, not set any lap records or do anything hardcore. We already did that the other day. But we're like, let's go have some fun on some good roads. And there are no better cars, especially than this one right here, to do that with. And that guy's enjoying his ride on the Harley, just cruising around. This is a cruising road. So I'll tell you about the cars and we'll go drive them and have some fun. This here is a Polestar 1. It's a super rare, I call it a Swedish supercar. It, um, you know, is, is pretty much a hand-built vehicle. They made almost none of these things. And we're super lucky that Polestar let us borrow this for an extended period of time to live with a plug-in hybrid, to use it for some projects. And here comes some bikes. So we'll let these guys roll and then we'll rock and roll. So Polestar loaned us this for some projects and it's just incredible. In terms of how it's built, I've already made in-depth videos on the Polestar one, but it's turbocharged and supercharged on the four-cylinder combustion engine up front. It then has about a 30 kilowatt electric generator generator on the back also acts as a boost for the crank to get the engine to spin up real quick and then there's two electric motors in the back here that are fed by a 35 ish kilowatt hour battery pack so so much going on so much technology it's a car no one ever talks about no one ever thinks about it's one of the few plug-in hybrids that ccs fast charges because you can get almost 100 miles of electric range out of this car and use it as a full ev which is super interesting but we're using it for the over 600 horsepower the olean suspension that's very well tuned and calibrated once you dial it in but you do have to dial everything in and uh, it's been a really cool car to experience so we'll talk more about this as we drive this first on this road and then we also brought along that time it's driving the lucid air grand touring this is the car that we just did our cannonball attempt in we did not break it unfortunately but um, we have it on the aero wheels almost no traction no grip but the chassis set up really well the braking performance is good the power is good how are you enjoying the car on these roads time in it's pretty good it's like driving uh a slammed version of my Lexus. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a lot faster. Yeah, things fast. No question. I mean, you were right on the Polestar's butt up to uh, pretty high speeds there. I tried. You yeah. can't really do much with this thing, right. especially with the tires and wheel setup. Yeah, the tires and wheel are, are this car's major problem right now, uh, and it's not a problem. It's they're built for range. These are the OE specification, but we also have a set of the performance wheels and tires, and that's what we'll be riding on most of the time. Chrysler 200 seems to be doing laps out here on the road. So what do you say we try and catch that guy? And uh, it won't be too difficult. no, it won't be too difficult. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Alyssa and I will be cruising in the Polestar 1. I love this car. Nice uh, excursion. Lots of car people up here. Good road too. So into B mode, first gear. Traction control is in ESC Sport, yes. So that's about as aggressive as we can get it. We have the vehicle in power mode. So we'll just cruise for a little bit. Well, wow. <laughs> look at this thing through these corners. So much performance to come out of it. It's crazy how fast this thing is. <laughs> um, I've dialed up the Oleans into something real spicy. So it's just like a go-kart for how heavy it is. It's incredible. Time and sliding the Lucid behind us. <laughs> so this is the official Polestar Heritage Collection. Polestar 1 and we are sending it on a back road <laughs> coming in under braking <laughs> look at this thing absolutely motor through <laughs> it's their car and this was Gregor their CEO's uh, car for um, you know when this car was in production when when Polestar was just launching this was his personal vehicle and so it's really kind of a cool experience for them to say yes we want to talk about this car more. It's such a special car. I really honestly think Polestar did such a poor job 
uh, marketing the car, sharing what it's all about because it's so hardcore in so many ways and it's so different than any other car. So it's a car that I've loved. I've been lucky enough that Polestar has given me the opportunity to review the car multiple times. I've done track reviews. I've done mountain road driving like this and then um, all throughout California, North Carolina and um, you know, it's just a great experience to have this one back. So actually, uh, we'll have a whole video on our out of spec motoring channel with this vehicle. Alyssa and Michaela took it across the country and so you'll see that going there. But that's how we got the Polestar 1. It's really the legend of the Polestar 1 in my opinion. It's so cool of them to let us use this. And the girls drove it across the country paving the way for our Lucid Cannonball. Now, of course, we didn't get the record. We were let down by uh, charging infrastructure, unfortunately. No surprise to anyone, sadly. This guy's going two miles an hour in his Corvette. Um, so that was a bit of a shame, but we still got a great story. We still got to enjoy the Polestar, and a big thanks to the Silverado for pulling over for us. Thank you very much. Drop a gear. Disappear. Oh, the brakes into this corner. Look at this thing rip. 619 horsepower, is it? I don't know, but it freaking buggies. Oh my god. Just like boom, triple digits. <laughs> Crazy. And what a good road. This is like a road built for this car. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have some more fun in the Polestar 1. Cruise around these roads a little bit. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys throughout the day. Maybe in the Lucid, we should take that for a little cruise as well. We gotta charge up the Lucid, it's running pretty low, but we won't be out here too long, just a couple hours to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the roadway. Just take a look ahead, this is, this is what we live for. Got the Olean's dialed up pretty far. Found a turtle trying to cross the road. Can you help him? Yeah, if he doesn't kill you, but you gotta help the turtle. Work together. Turbo speed right here. Turbo speed, you just saved him like a week. <laughs> there he goes, getting over towards the water. Okay, nice. On the shore banks now. He's happy? Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, he's swimming? <laughs> he just bolted into the water. All right. Well, you saved a turtle. Saved a turtle. Nice work. Tyvin's going to swap into the Polestar. We're going to swap into the Lucid Air Grand Touring. We're at 23% state of charge. Ah, your watch. Oh, good. Yeah. We're going to go here to Sprint, Confirm, Settings, Vehicle, Drive Settings, Stability Control, Off. Okay, here's this for you. We're on the aero wheels. We will have a Kia something in front of us. Well, let's go for a drive in the Lucid. Time and seating position is pretty close to mine. And uh, first things first, we need to... Um, Post it. Well, we won't launch it here in front of all these tourists. We'll just... Oh! The thing with the Lucid is it has really good acceleration. Even down to like 5 or 6%, it's not bad. So let's get out of this little area, and then we will uh, have some fun in the Lucid. We're ready to rip. 
So left foot hard on the brake, floor it with the right, launch control pops up and it just spins up. So much performance in launch control compared to the dock. It's really funny. No tire grip. You can just hear tire squealing coming out of the corner. <laughs> it does its best to give rear motor, but ultimately <laughs> it's pretty 50-50. But if you get the weight leaned over and give it a stab, it's pretty impressive. Stuff flying around in the car. You can come out opposite lock. It's pretty funny to hustle this thing around. It's so heavy. It has no traction on the 19-inch arrows, but it is um, a very nicely set up uh, chassis. Like, it's surprisingly good and fun to rip around it because of that very high voltage. Even here at 19% state of charge, I can hit the throttle. We have huge acceleration. We also have huge regen capabilities with the pack being at this low state of charge. So. You know, you dial this thing up into uh, sprint mode, you back off the stability control a bit, and it's not perfect. It thermal derates on some straightaways that we've noticed, but um, I was talking to some of the guys at Lucent, they're like, well, we changed the battery pack for the GT Performance, and some of the motor stuff is different as well, so no derate in the Kenyans in that car. And I don't really think they tell anyone that, but that's like, money's going somewhere for $30,000, which is pretty good. But even, look at this, at 19%, absolutely shreds it's very 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 impressive and looking at this nice uh, Kia for pulling over for us thank you very much but not actually needed because we are pulling right here so this is basically what we're up to today just finding good roads enjoying the cars having fun having a good time and um, yeah just just enjoying twisty pavement as one does that's a car enthusiast in the area we do need to charge this though because we're at 18 percent i can hear the battery cooling ripping right now <laughs> it's trying to cool the drivetrain and the battery but um yeah let's find some nearby chargers juice them up and we'll call out a video just a quick fun to show you kind of what we're up to today we are coming down the hill we exited it over by i-15 and we actually don't have to charge the lucid we've been charging it up on the way down so much that uh, we can make it back to pasadena and to use one of the free power up pasadena 50 kilowatt chargers pasadena's really done a lot for electric vehicle adoption and adding charging stations and they don't charge anyone to use their stations right now they're all free so they have like a bank of 20 tritium 50 kilowatt chargers that everyone just charges at no cost it's pretty sweet and uh i don't know how they paid for it or what they're doing i know tesla paid for some of it because they said hey if you want to put your superchargers here you got to build a uh, public infrastructure which i thought was awesome but uh, every ea station in the area i just checked is completely full like there's no getting in there oh really yep they're all full even the one at the mall yes they're, no like literally every station in los angeles right now is full <laughs> it's insane so uh welcome to driving an electric car in california good thing we're just going back to the hotel i gotta edit videos all all evening maybe we can even put this on the level two at the hotel if there's space we'll certainly try and um yeah all part of the fun that polestar one looks damn good in front of us though especially with those views off in the distance that's such a special car such a special car and uh actually like top five cars of all time for me really that is such a cool machine wow. yeah because it's got all the crazy complicated drivetrain stuff plus it looks incredible and um it's, it's like the you first, in a car yeah it's like the first uh car of the polestar brand i mean that's gonna be something pretty special are they coming day. out with a roadster or something people yeah. keep tagging that that looks really good how cool would it be to have a polestar one to park next to your roadster Pretty cool stuff. Well, we're just cruising along here in the Lucid. I got my massaging seat on, air conditioned seat on. We got plenty of range to make it pack to Pasadena with maybe two or 3% state of charge. Then we'll deal with charging it when we get there so we can skip all this public charger nonsense. And that is the nice thing with the Lucid. You can take it, rip it in the canyons and still have enough juice to get back, which I can't say for most other electric cars. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching another vlog. Just some fun in two pretty special cars. Uh, it would be great to get the Lucid Air GT Performance with the upgraded battery motors and software to allow for hard, more hardcore um, driving in the canyons. And also, of course, the 21-inch wheels and tires would help a ton. So we still have to go back and do some more Lucid testing on their spicy versions. And of course, I can't wait to drive the Sapphire. So thanks so much for watching. See you in another one soon. Bye-bye.